welcome back to our channel. My name is Angelique and this is Ray. Ray, my daughter Ray. We are coming back with an update on our lock journey. We have been gone for a while, um, but I am 17 weeks lock, and which is four months, and Ravion is 16 weeks lock, which is three months. And what we're gonna show you in this video is our lock progress, the products that we use to keep our hair moisturized, and the budding. We are both in our um, journey, we're in our budding process. So let me first give you a roundabout view of my hair, then Ravion's hair. Okay, Ray? <laughs> and then I will show you how I keep our hair moisturized before we go to bed. I try to do this um, for myself because my hair is a lot coarser than Ravion. So I will probably do this maybe two to three times a day. But on Ravion, I'll only have to do it once because her hair is a lot thinner and her hair is a lot softer and it will create so much frizz if I do this process on her hair too many times. So let me first show you the, smell good? The front of my hair and the budding. So this is the strand, wait, Ravion. And then this is the length of that strand. All right, I'm gonna show you some budding in the center. First you can just look at it. You can look at the braid, the part pattern. My scalp is really clean. Um, here goes the budding. Oh, thanks. Put it down, Ravion. We're not at that process yet. Yeah. There goes some budding there. Nothing. I'm going to try to transition to some of these slowly for you a lot of budding in that one mm. towards the back back mm. all right so you can see there's a lot of budding in my hair these are the length of the sides and I also noticed that in the budding process, our hair is, sh is shrinking. Like it seems like that it got a lot shorter now that we're in the budding process. Now I'm going to show you Ray's progress and her length. This is the front. You can see she has a lot of budding right in here. Hold your head up, Ray. This is her length. Show you another one in the front. The budding right in here. This is the length of that one. She gets happy when you see her length because she thinks her hair is long. It is definitely longer than her mother's. This is her side. This is her length. Another one on the side, the budding in here. And I'm gonna show you some on her side where she has a lot of budding, but her her sides have to be retwisted every time we go back because her sides are so thin. But you see all the budding that's in here on her sides? That is a lot of budding. But look how thin her hair is over here. See how thin it is and her budding and stuff? All right, so now we're gonna go around to the back of her head. Sit up straight, Ravion, let's go to the back. And this is the strand. You can look up and down the strand and you can see the parts where it's really puffy and then it goes thin, that's the budding. This is the length, hold your head up, Ray. That's what our hair up straight, her head up straight. This is the another one of the length. Show you some budding in the middle of her head. And if you can pay attention to some of her parting. Her parting, I did indicate to them that I wanted our hair to be full. 
and I did not want to end up with very fat locks, sort of like micro locks, but not too micro. But you can see the budding right in here on this one. Another one in the center. You can see the budding right in here. You can see the budding right in here. And then I'm gonna show you another one and I will let you find where the budding is on your own. See if you can figure that out. As you go up and down the strand, can you see the budding that's in, on this strand? This is the length. All right, so that's where we are in our four month and our three month journey. Now I'm gonna show you what we do at night. Um, and I, again, I will do this once or twice for myself, maybe three, because my hair is way coarser, very thick. Ravion hair is thin, but I'm going to practice and demonstrate on Ravion's hair. This is just water. My son has, you know, twists. He uses the sponge or whatnot. And I do the same process on my son's hair, but he uses a sponge and a thicker conditioner. So I will then hope, turn around right. I will spray Ravion scalp with the water. I don't, you don't want to drench the hair at all. You just want to kind of mist it. So I will spray it with water. I massage it in. This is the conditioner. I use different, I use main and choice. Ravion. I use main choice for the conditioner. And then um, leave-in conditioner. And I also use Main Choice. They have a bottle with oil in it. I use that as well. Um, but today, and I use Aussie. So I in, um, interchange between these two leave-ins. So then I will spray it with the Aussie. And with the moisturizer, I focus on the scalp, inside the scalp. Because that's where it itches. I will, you will see that I'm very heavy when it comes to the conditioner. Um, then I, if I try to interchange between the leave-in and the deodorizer, this is hair deodorizer. And as you can zoom in, maybe it will, it's specifically for locks, for dreads, braids, and wigs. And this kind of has like a minty feel to it. When you spray it on your scalp, it tingles. So you can definitely feel that it's doing something. But as you can see, I don't use a lot on Ravion's hair because our hair is so soft. But I will try to moisturize that in there. And then last, to lock everything in, this is organic coconut oil. This helps her hair shine, get a gloss to it. Um, and really, it's all about the shine to me with this and locking everything in. As you can see how much I'm going to use on my hand. It's kind of falling on the floor. But that's the amount. I will rub it together. I try to make sure it's not all these um, knots in it. So it's oily. I will start with the middle. And then I will just focus this on her hair here. Again, this part is just for the shine. But as you can see, I'm focusing on the hair here. And the ends, because that's the oldest part of the hair. I'll get some more, do the same thing, and I will focus on the front. Too much. That is kind of too much. I will focus on the front and run it up and down her strands. Mama. Then I also kind of massage it in. And I really, again, massage this into her hair. Really nice. All right. So as you can see, I hope you can see a difference. With dreads, it's kind of hard to do that. But you can see that her hair... Her scalp is not as dry. It's very moisturized. You can see a kind of shine to it. But as you can see, it did frizz up her hair a lot. 
but you can see a lot of budding in these strands as well. So now I can show you the same process on my hair, but I'm gonna speed up the time frame. Water. Massage it in. Leave-in conditioner, Aussie. Massage it in. Deodorizer. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it tingles. And it says hair food. So that's one thing I like about it. What is in this stuff? It says it contains herbal infusion, spring water. It does have alcohol, melanol, aloe vera extracts, and sober tall syrup um and it says anti-dandruff and anti-formula and that really helps with a lot of the itching that i have in the center i have a lot of itching in the center of my head and this kind of calms it down a little bit a lot all right so now i'm gonna take the coconut oil that's how it is on my hands i'm gonna start with the center the back put some more and then I will focus on the top and the sides then I will just as you can see, my hair cannot go in a ponytail yet, like Ray's. But I'm kind of focusing on the um, tips because that's the oldest part of the hair. All right. All right, so as you can see, that's how we moisturize our dreads. It's very simple. There's not a lot of products. I try not to have buildup, so I don't use a lot of products on our dreads at all. I try to keep our hair clean as possible. We have not, um, they have not washed my hair at all for these four months. I have not had my hair washed at all. It hasn't been bad. As you can see, I don't have a lot of buildup in my scalp for me to not have my hair washed for four months. I don't have a lot of buildup in my scalp at all. Okay, now Ravion hair is a little different. Since it's soft, it, frizz, it frizzes very easily. Um, and then the product in her hair, I'm assuming it builds up a lot um, because they have washed her hair. And she's been locked for three months, but it did not slow her process down. You still see the budding in her hair. You can use that. <laughs> you can still see the budding in her hair, but it has not slowed down her process. So that completes our video. Thank you for dropping in. We will love, 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 love for you guys to subscribe to our channel. Again, my name is Angelique and this is Ray. Please subscribe and leave any questions that we did not answer in this video at the bottom. And I will make sure that I um, answer as many questions as I can. Stay tuned. We will try to make our updates a lot more frequently. Um, but now this is four months, three months, and I will come back with a five-month, four-month update video. Bye. Bye.